Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Are you facing a VAN9003 error on Valorant with Windows 11? In this tutorial, I'll show you the steps to get back into action and play again. Let's go. Fixing the VAN9003 error in Valorant on Windows 11 involves several steps. First, check the secure boot status of your PC. Therefore, press the Windows key plus R to call out the run box. Type msinfo32 and press enter to open system information. Check the BIOS mode and secure boot state information. If an error occurs when trying to launch Valorant on a Windows 11 system that is already running, it could be related to the game's anti-cheat system Vanguard, which requires secure boot to be enabled. Next, check for available updates to upgrade to the latest Windows 11 version. Press Windows plus I to open the Settings app. Click Windows Update from the left menu. See if it has an update. If yes, you can click the Download and Install button to start the installation. Then you must restart your computer to complete the entire installation. Another thing you must consider while facing this issue is to update your graphics card driver. It is essential that it is up to date. To do this, input Device Manager in Taskbar Search and open the Configuration panel. Unfold the Display Adapters menu. Click on the graphics card that you're going to update. Right-click and tap the Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. If there is a driver update available, it will install it for you automatically. If not, it will tell you that the best drivers for your device are already installed. Running Valorant with administrative privileges and in compatibility mode for Windows 8 can sometimes resolve the error by providing the necessary permissions and compatibility settings. After finding the executable file or shortcut file of Valorant, right-click and choose the Properties option from the pop-up menu. In the Properties window, click on Compatibility. Under the Compatibility Mode part, check the Run this program in Compatibility Mode for box to go on. Finally, click on Apply and OK buttons to save the change and exit the operation. If all else fails, a fresh installation of Valorant might resolve the issue. Uninstall the game through the Control Panel or Settings. Then download and install the latest version from the official website. You can click the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!